This is Ujjal Kumar Sen and uh, today we are going to talk about uh, turbine. Well, this video tutorial is only dedicated to gate problems, gate numerical problems or if you wanted to learn to solve numerical problems then this is the tutorial for you. So in this tutorial I am going to share with you a, guide, a problem which has been asked in gate from turbine only and few necessary things those required to solve that numerical problem so first of all I will talk about formulas then I will talk about some basic concept then I will definitely go for that numerical problem so to you know, you know we required two formulas to solve numerical problems that number which numerical problem they have asking Kate one is specific speed which is denoted by NS and the NS is equal to its formula is you know little bit uh, it will make you confuse with the pump maybe blower or maybe uh, compressor or fans even you can say that but here NS is a specific speed N root under P P is power H is hat N is revolution per minute and uh, this specific speed, uh, specific speed is having no dimension this is dimension less remember that and one other thing we have to do that is power is equal to rho g h q but this is the simple formula which uh, probably you have used in case of uh, uh, flow through pipes problems if you have solved numerical problems related to that topic okay so these are two things you require to solve the numerical problem which has been asked in gate but these are not good enough you have to find out you have to also need to know the specific a specific speed for turbines right so if you're talking about uh, belt and turbine belt and turbine it's a uh, specific speed is about you know uh, 10 to 30 35 or 30 it's, it's specific speed is like this now if you're talking about Francis turbine it's around 60 to, to uh, 80 or 300 right and if you're talking about Kaplan turbine Kaplan turbine Kaplan turbine or propeller turbine they are having maximum specific speed just like you know 280 or 300 to 1000 you can say okay so these are three uh and these are three types of turbines we are using these days and uh, yeah it's specific speed specific speed uh, here so based on these data we can solve that numerical problem okay so that's why i'm sharing with you first what you required to solve the numerical problem then we'll go for that numerical problem that would be quite easier quite helpful for you which is uh, which is experimented by me even okay so let's go for that numerical problem which is much more required here so what happened now we have the question in front of you so in this question what they have given at a hydroelectric power plant site available head and flow rate are 24.5 meter and 10.1 meter cube per second so what they have said head is h is equal to 24.5 and uh, flow rate q is 10.1 meter per uh, meter cube per second respectively okay it's discharge basically after looking at the uh, unit you can say this is discharge right if the turbine to be installed is required to run at this much per second so they said n is equal to 4 revolution per second so we have to change into minute therefore i will multiple with 60 is equal to 240 rpm all right now what we got had we got q we got n we got okay okay now let's go for it with an overall efficiency overall efficiency is equal to 90 percent this is also matter now based on this data what we actually require to tell that what type of turbine actually this system is working so for that we need to find out ns ns we have to find out that is what and a specific speed we have to find out for finding out the what type what type of turbine 
actually we have okay based on the head we can say but here we cannot say based on the head because based on the head if you can say then it's uh, you know it's a uh, Kaplan or even propeller turbine we can say but it's not based on that okay so first we have to find out NS NS uh, I mean we have to find out NS right so for finding out NS I have shared with the formula that is N root under P S to the power 5 by 4 we have N we have H we don't have P right so first of all we have to find out P P means power power equal to what rho G H into Q let's say it's capital H density of it's a hydroelectric pump so water is talking we are talking about uh, water 9.81 head is 24.5 q is 10.1 okay <coughs> so let's do calculation 1009.81 multiple 24.5 multiple 10.10.1 so what we got value in values basically here and let's cal do calculation again 1009.81 multiple 24.5 uh, multiple 10.1 yeah one other thing I'm missing here that is efficiency we have to multiple efficiency here also that is 0.9 so 0.9 I have to multiple what we got basically 2184736.05 it's 2184.736 kilowatt okay kilowatt now one more thing i haven't shared with you that is you know if you are talking about turbine in case of turbine if you wanted to find out uh, specific speed then and root under p power that power should be in kilowatt here you can make mistake here you can make mistake because power should be in kilowatt you should not change this kilo should not be written here in multiple 10 to the power 3 if you will do that then you will not get the answer but because that is not uh, you know that is not required right so what is basically required here uh, this is this should be kept in kilowatt that means I will write this value only I will not take this kilo into consideration okay let's write first then you will understand n is what we have find out already 240 power 2184.736 that's it now h 24.5554 right so in this way we can solve it now what we have to do we have to use calculator 240 multiple 21 84.736 its root division 24.5 5 divided 4 okay so how much value basically we are getting 80 yeah and one more thing this is dimensionless I have already shared with you that a specific speed uh, is uh, dimensionless quantity okay so uh, the specific speed we are getting 205 that means based on the data I have provided already you can see what type of turbine we have that is Francis turbine okay so uh, this is uh, this is what the answer is C option C is the right answer now after solving this problem you can understand that what we require to solve the numerical problem first understanding the basic little bit second we required formulas and third we need to understand what to implement and uh, that kind of I mean that kind of approach you can build easily if we solve few problems related to the topic just like here you can make mistake and this mistake only will come to know that there you can make mistake after solving numerical problems so what is the key that is you have to understand its basic as well as you have to know what to do and what to implement in the numerical problems that is the key to get success in uh, in get like examination or num to solve numerical problems right away even in the uh, university examination you will get uh, this type of problem probably you will get this type of problem for 10 marks or even uh, 15 marks maybe 5 marks 
uh, that definitely these uh, formulas will help you a lot to solve the numerical problems it's really simple okay so thanks for watching see you soon in my next video tutorial bye bye and if you like the tutorial share it with your friends thanks